J'avoue, j'en ai pas fait pas vous, mon amour. Avant d'avoir. Hi, hotties. Welcome to episode 5 of my Moving Diaries series. Lots of things have happened since we last talked. We had an ant problem, our washing machine broke, our fridge was broken, so our food would get spoiled in two days. But I feel like things like this just always happen whenever you move into a new place, so it wasn't that big of an issue. <laughs> In the mornings, it's just me and Suki because Martin leaves early to go to work. But here I am getting ready for the day, making breakfast, all that good stuff. Lots of fun things happen in this vlog, so talk to you later and I love you. To be honest, I don't think this apartment has progressed as much as you and I thought it would by this point. I mean, we've been moved in for almost two months now, and I would say about 40% of the apartment is like almost complete. It's just like, I don't know, I think it's just one of those things where it's like, I'll never be happy. Because Martin's super like whatever, like he doesn't care, but like I'm like basically living at home, right? Cause he goes to work and I work from home. I still have to complete my office. We still have literally everything to do in the bedroom. All we really have is a bed. <laughs> But you know, I think that's just like the whole fun of it, right? Just having it progress and just seeing where it takes us. But I think I'm just putting a lot of pressure on myself because I'm documenting everything. So I hope you understand. And I know a lot of you were expecting a ton of moving vlogs by this point. And I'm just so sorry that I just haven't been able to deliver. I say this in every video, but my mental health has just not really been good. And you know, a lot of personal things have happened. So interior design was just not on the forefront of my brain. So I really hope that you understand that. Love you. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm feeling a little bit better. So that's why we have a vlog coming at you today. I've also been doing some reels and TikTok content of like little decorating moments that we've been doing. So yeah, if you want to support me on there, you can. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I have tons of updates and just doing things, decorating all of that stuff in the past couple of weeks. So yeah, let's roll the clips now. I'll see you in a bit. Love you. <laughs> First, I was thinking of doing a full apartment makeover video like I've done a few times but I thought I would switch it up a little bit and do more like mini moving apartment update vlogs so that's what this one is. Today the plan is to go to Ikea. We have to exchange the rug because you guys just saw that they sent to us the wrong one. We're gonna get a mirror, we're gonna get some fun things. We're also gonna go to LA today to hang out with some friends so it's a fun day. I'm in my office right now and it's coming along. I am planning on doing a full day desk office makeover setup video. So stay tuned for that. We didn't think we could fit the mirror in the car, but we did. But at what cost? This is the seating situation for me. It's okay, it's not too long, so it'll be fine, but yeah. <laughs> the mirror and myself made it back in one piece, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe we've lived here for a few weeks and I haven't seen my outfit like in full yet. I've literally just been going like in the bathroom right here and just being like, yeah, I think it looks good. <laughs> I'm waiting for Martin to get ready right now and I'm playing BTS in the psalm and I just reached level 500. I don't think this is a flex, I think it is, but I'm I'm proud. Oh, oh my god, this is so exciting. So this is basically kind of like Candy Crush. So these are like coffees and I had to get them. So I think right now I just, that's all I can do. And then I can play. I'm kind of a gamer girl, I don't know. I don't know. Let me spit my game You know that this room got me moving this way You've been in the frame All those things you do got me moving this way Just a few steps from the door
My dad had an extra TV, so he gave it to us right here, but it's a bit small, so that Good thing Target was having like 50% off their TVs or something and I also had a 20% off coupon. So dope. Mm. Like, I think it looks good. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm like sitting. I'm like, oh, TV. I don't think it has to be that high actually now that I'm sitting here. Oh my god, even this is heavy. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! We hate the rug that's in the living room right now. It just doesn't match at all. So we got this baby off of Target for 80 bucks, which we think was a steal. I feel that a lot of rugs are extremely overpriced online. Like I was seeing some for hundreds of dollars and I was like, guys, we're just gonna be stepping on this. Like, I don't know. This was kind of a wild card. So hopefully it actually looks okay in the space, but the thing for Target's return policy, just in case it looks like shit. Alright, I want to give you guys a little bit of a tour of what the living room looks like. I think it's looking pretty spiffy so far, so let's get into it. So this is the couch, you've already seen her, but this is the kind of decoration we have going on right now. I really think that we need to change the throw pillows, but I'm like, where do I put Tata and Chimmy? Like, they're the star of the show. So I don't know, but we'll figure it out. And this is the beautiful little gallery wall we have going on. Mounted one of Martin's old boards, and then we have these beautiful prints from Jewel Art. These ones right here are actually from magazines and then I just use binder clips to kind of attach it to the wall with a push pin. And the lamp right here, you can see is a gold color, but we're kind of thinking of changing it to silver. Not really sure how we're gonna do that. We'll see how it goes. But honestly, I think this plant is the star of the show. She's fake though, but you know, it is what it is. I cannot take care of a plant, okay? Especially a large one like this. I think we chose the perfect rug. Oh my God, I think it is gorgeous. Ah! But this is what the coffee table looks like so far. This is the setup. I honestly love how the hand kind of reaches out from the book. I don't know. I think that's a really cool idea that we had. And the hand just has some jewelry on it. We put a clock on top of the full length mirror. This mirror has definitely been one of our favorite purchases for this whole space. I think it opens it up so much. You know, we be fashion people. Like we got to see the full look. This rug here, I think is a perfect amount of color. And like if we were to take mirror selfies, right? like she's in there she's in the shot hopefully over here are some of our books and then we have some plants big ones of course <laughs> Under the TV, we have lots of goodies. This is still definitely a work in progress. It's really hard to do open shelving um, for it to be both functional, but also like aesthetic looking. So yeah, I'm, I'm still working on this. And this is the last little corner of the living room. This one's my guitar and this one's Martin's and we have our little record player set up. This is like a music corner, you know how it is? And we keep this disco ball on the floor so then we could just move it to the little patch of sunlight that we have. So this is what it looks like right now now with everything. Oh, Suki loves the disco ball. Oh my God, how can I forget about Suki's iconic cat tree? Look at her, she's beautiful. <laughs> she loves it so much and I'm so grateful because girl, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into building that cat tree. I'm not a handy woman. I would like to say that I am, but mm -mm. But it's for my girl. I'll do anything, huh baby? Hi, baby. Moving on to the dining room area, just basically where the dining table is. Okay, guys, we have a dining table. Isn't that so exciting? I talk about that all the time, like how we used to sit on the floor for every meal. We have a dining table. Yeah, we're living in luxury. Mm -hmm. But here she is. We thought this poster was very fitting. Over here for the decorations, we have some flowers, candles, this little bowl with some candies in it. Yes, the dining table is very scuffed up because we got it for free from my parents. They just had it in the garage. So we took it, but our plan is to put black tiling on it or somehow cover it in some way. This is just kind of like a base. It's just what we have going on right now. But y'all, look at these chairs. Oh my gosh if you saw my last video y'all know that these chairs were all over my pinterest honestly i feel like every pinterest girly has some iteration of this chair but we thrifted these actually oh my gosh the thrift gods were there for us they usually are not but today they were like okay you have been suffering let's give you something i think it matches our space beautifully we have sean right here our little guest but 
Mm hmm that's what it looks like so far but yeah that kind of ends with like the really aesthetic parts of the apartment at least out here right now because look over here <laughs> yeah our shoe rack is really nice but we still have like some packages to return over here more packages to return oh but look at this little cute key holders that we have but yeah definitely the kitchen is a work in progress but i'm so grateful to even have a kitchen like this so <laughs> this is what our fridge looks like so far i just went to texas and i went to bucky's for the first time and i saw this and i literally had never snatched something so fast i thought it was so funny this is the bedroom right now literally no decoration whatsoever but don't fret guys i will do it soon it's just we don't spend a lot of time in the bedroom actually we just love the living room so much i hope you enjoyed that little tour but now i'm gonna go downstairs and get a package because i have some things for my office i'm actually filming a full office makeover video so i'm gonna be filming that today and then get back to y'all when I'm doing like the rest of the apartment. In the mood to do a little haul of everything that I have, but I'm just gonna open this package first because it's the newest one. There's only one thing. I ordered a lot of things, what the hell? Hello? Okay, I'm gonna talk to my management right now because I didn't get both of the packages. <laughs> Come on. This one also has just like nothing to do with the apartment anyways. It's just a cleaning kit for my laptop. But anyways, I went to Target yesterday and got some things. This first one is a like storage box just for storage things. I don't know. Just need some organization, come on. But inside, Target has the Halloween section now. So I got these two pumpkins right here, super cutie. Probably gonna put them on the coffee table later. And then we got this really fall theme like kitchen rag towel. This plate made me laugh in the store and I was like, I mean, it's only what, $2, $3? I was like, this is perfect. I think it's so silly. I love like little silly things like that. Continuing with the fall theme, we got this fall scented candle. Smells yummy, smells like fall. But the thing is, is that I'm not a huge fan of like super fall scented candles. Like I'm very sensitive to like, especially like cinnamon. Well, I, I like real cinnamon, but when it's like cinnamon scented things, I can't handle it. So I really like this one. It's called Fall Day. And the last couple things we got from Target are these shower curtains. In our main bathroom, we're in desperate need of a new shower curtain. The one that we had before I've had for a while. So it has like water stains on it. So we got this one. It's a bit sheer too, because I've been scared of the shower okay when i was younger i watched that one movie it was a psycho something like that of like a murderer coming into the shower so i've always been scared like in dark showers so it's nice to have it's like a little bit sheer i don't know is that too much am i is that embarrassing as a 22 year old maybe but it's just the truth okay and then for the guest bathroom we got this one because we thought that the texture on here was really cool we got some more bathroom things but these ones are from urban outfitters the first one is this bath rug get naked and i think it's perfect i think it's a it's a nice little thing to see when you're a guest here hmm? <laughs> and then for our bathroom we got this bath rug it's a tiger i thought it was super dope i love orange the only thing is that it doesn't go flush against like the bath which is like duh when we saw it we should have like realized that until we put it in the bathroom and we're like hmm it's like not really fitting that well so i don't know if we should put it in our closet maybe instead but it's marketed as a bath mat so we'll see how it goes damn i'm really bummed about my packages hopefully no one's took it
right so i changed because it was getting really hot i don't know why like that took so much out of me i think i'm like extremely unfit but it's up i think it looks pretty nice ignore the wrinkles i'm just this is my thought process okay it's going to like have steam in here right because of like hot showers and stuff so it'll just she'll flatten herself out like i don't need to iron it right now right please the only thing is that it doesn't have a hook right here I cannot find it. I don't know where it is. I looked all over this bathroom. Bebe, Suki, you put the hook on the couch? She put the hook on the couch. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! I like having our own space to come home to and just kind of being in. I just kind of like that whole routine. I know, it, it has been nice having our, our little routine though. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah, because we just, you know, we- Ow, fuck! Bye bye! Ow. You know, we work during the day and then we just come home and we do fun things. Thing. Yeah. Well, because this is his first time like moving out. So like, this is like a big step. Yeah, it's a different step. So in terms of our relationship, like do you think anything has like changed or like? I think since we, like we literally, like we live together. Like we're with each other. We like, live together. If we're not working or doing this or that, like we're together. Mm -hmm. And I think like with that and moving in, we feel more comfortable doing our own thing mm -hmm. and just kind of just kind of being our own person. I feel like now we're not so dependent on each other. Yeah. yeah. Which is funny because I feel like you would think the other way around. <laughs> we have no juicy drama of like fights and all of that, which I think a lot of people like expect when couples move in together, but yeah. we've only gotten annoyed like slightly when we were building our furniture. <laughs> but it wasn't that bad, like we didn't actually fight, yeah. but yeah <laughs> that's like the thing that tests your relationship but it's been really nice like being like parents to suki <laughs> because before like she used to just like live with me and then you would visit my place but like yeah. now she lives with us so i think she really loves being with us yeah yeah even though she gets really annoyed at us oh baby no but actually i think that's basically the kind of updates that we have i hope you enjoyed this vlog i know it was pretty hefty but yeah it's very exciting stuff i can't wait for this whole place to like come together it slowly is right now and it's just so exciting seeing the progress come and just seeing like our little like personalities in like every corner I think yeah. that's really fun I like making this space our own like, yeah you have your books there right next to my Hot Wheels <laughs> yeah yeah like it's fun you <laughs> it's know like little stuff like that mm -hmm. I like being able to do that to our own place now I hope you enjoyed this video I missed you all so much and we'll see you next time bye oh c'est l'histoire d'une fille pas trop compliquée pour une fois Cherchant l'impossible, elle trouva que c'était une bonne idée.